Hey, welcome everybody. I am excited to share something with you today. And most of you may recognize this particular truck in this area, this game. This is SnowRunner. Uh, this game I was pretty much burnt out on and wasn't excited with. But I have been turned on to this game again. And I'll tell you why. It is because of the Moza R5 racing wheel. This wheel has got me back into this game, and I want to show you why. It is insane. So I have the force feedback turned up. I had it turned up to 100%. Almost lost a couple of digits on the hands. Um, it's, that, it's that vicious. Now, this is the R5. That's 5 newton meters. They go all the way up to a 20, I think 21 newton meters. Uh, but this guy, you don't need anything more than this. I have been having so much fun. I have started a new fresh account here and now I'm going to go ahead and point out one of the downfalls of using this wheel is the buttons are really hard to figure out and and see that if you see my screen flickering there on that map this is the biggest frustration is the map and the map or the wheel and the mouse do not they, they're like oil and water they don't mix uh, so moza if you're listening please send out an update fix it for this particular game so this mouse can work on this map i'm using my workaround as i have an xbox controller hooked to it and that allows me to scan around so there's your biggest most important thing i have spent hours trying to figure out how to make this work and this is my best workaround but i want to tell you why i spent hours making this work because this is so fantastic being able to use this wheel and i just want to keep your eyes focused on this white rim watch this thing go uh, we're going to go out here and get um oh, see we're just on pretty flat ground and this thing i just look at this it is a workout y'all whoa you gotta hold on to it you gotta hold on to it and I don't even care about like making the deliveries now I, before when I played this game I played it and I was like oh I hate getting stuck in the mud and I want to just find a mod that makes it easy and but not too easy I just want to be able to drive and it became oh no, I don't yeah I do want to go out here it became a I just want a driving simulator basically is what I wanted but now with this force feedback and this much power coming in on on this wheel i am just having so much fun just driving but through the mud so i'm not interested in getting the the load done or getting the the job or the task done super fast i'm just interested in exploring and getting around and i am not going to try to get out there to get that truck i know y'all see it and most of us have all played this game probably several times and done several startups I myself have probably done 10 or 15 different playthroughs on this uh, but this I'm so excited with it I've sold all my DLC trucks so I have a ton of money but I want to kind of play this as base as possible because this is really really fun just trudging through this and the feel of the workout going through these trees you see that and this is I had it at a hundred percent this is turned down to 50 percent on the torque let me give you a shot of the settings here let me get out of this mud and i'll give you a shot just to show you and and now you see how things are kind of flickering and flashing it's trying to decide if we're using a mouse or if we're using a controller that's the issue uh, so you'll go to steering wheel and for the moza 5 it is supported i do not believe it is supported for the moza 9 12 or anything higher the Moza 5, it has a preset which sets all of these things and it makes the buttons uh, somewhat, and I will say somewhat usable. Uh, it's very foreign to me how it's set up, but I'm learning it and it's worth it. So the force feedback I did put at a full 100% here. The tilt gain, this is the thing that will rip your thumb off in a heartbeat. I had to bring it back down to 0.5 because it was just so much and the 
the the the paddle shifters on the back they're 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 metal and they're kind of sharp and as this thing is whipping around if your hand is right in the way i'm telling you you're gonna you're gonna take a little piece off um but i've turned everything else back up to max i, I don't really know what the friction base level does I, I i had it up but i think it just makes it harder to turn so i'm not really concerned with getting a workout you know but I am concerned with uh, feeling everything that's here. So let's get back into the game. But I just wanted to share this with you. I am going to do more on this. Oh my goodness. Because this is just too much fun right here. Actually driving. And and the way this is whipping around. See there's your setting for your low gear. Um, I've been through a search the interweb a little, interweb a little bit. There is a way, and Moza does have a, a page that suggests on how you can set your own individual button, key, button keybinds. However, here's, I'm going to go ahead and save you some time. When you get down through it, you can get pretty much a keybind for every single function so far, like basic function, with the exception of the C button. And the C button is to uh, turn in uh, a job or to pick up cargo or something at a location there is no key binding for it i cannot figure it out so if anybody else has figured it out please share that uh, because i was able to key map all of these buttons there's like 22 buttons on the wheel and i was able to get pretty much everything you need on the wheel to make the the mouse obsolete it's still needed for the map unless if you use a, a controller like i have an xbox controller plugged into it that seems to be the best way but it's still kind of clunky you console users you're probably used to that uh, it's what you're used to using anyway however as a mouse and keyboard user i'm used to being able to click and make waypoints not have to use a joystick to move over and as you see here i've got to get out on my mouse to look around but i'm okay with that that's not bad i, I mean just it's worth it it is worth it to feel this the force that's behind this thing Let's see if we can get by with getting auto in so yeah i'm just having a great time guys uh, if you have any questions or comments uh please leave them down in the appropriate place you know the comment section please like and subscribe and i will bring you more with this thank y'all